Now to discuss this situation, I'm joined by Bernard Dalemans, a board member of the International Commission of European Citizens, a Brussels-based pro-independence NGO. And he joins us live. That's a very long title that they have there, Bernard. Thank you very much indeed for, for joining us. I mean, we can, we can see the, the, uh, the process there and the, what, what we've heard the, the, um, the speech this day, today from, from Manuel Rajoy. I mean, you were an independent observer when you saw the referendum in Catalonia. I mean, do you expect, what reaction are you expecting from Madrid? Do you expect it to react as violently as it did on the voting day? That's if the Catalans refuse to abide by Article 155. Well, I can only see that uh, even before the referendum took place, uh, the Spanish authorities have been acting only in repressive ways. They arrested uh, civil servants of the Catalonian government weeks before uh, the referendum took place. They um, they've been threatening with with prison and with fines all the mayors uh, that were uh, wanting to organize this uh, referendum and what we didn't really expect but it happened was on the day of the referendum there was uh, this police violence which was really rude and brutal with which and not proportionate to towards this uh, pacific process that the catalans were um, displaying uh, in in their towns and and villages so that has been a, a, a real shock to us but um, international community has condemned these um, actions of um, uh, Spanish police up to a certain stage but we hoped certainly that they would have uh, put pressure on the Spanish to to change their um, only repressive approach of this uh, this uh, um, events and Catalonian politicians have also been asking for dialogue that they've been asking for a dialogue for years and years uh, but we can only see that the Spanish uh, government only knows one language it is uh, of repression finding arresting people and now even uh, for uh, several persons of the civil society who are not even uh, political elected persons have been put in jail and now uh, we're going a step forward and, and they, are, they are going to, to suspend Catalan autonomy and, and, and put aside uh, an elected government of, 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 of the Catalonian uh, people. So we can only observe that, that, that Spain has moving only in this way of repression and has been ignoring all the, the signals and all the, the uh, desire of Catalonian politicians to come to the table and negotiate. Well, I mean, is it a case then that the, the Catalans would never be able to peacefully break away? I mean, if the national constitution, the government always blocks this, is it a case of there will never be an opportunity for independence for, for the Catalan people? Well, independence is, of course, um, uh, something which is mostly uh, not uh, for, foreseen in the constitution. But there is also something like uh, the will of a people and, and the will of uh, autodetermination that is, is a human right and, and that should be recognized not only by Spain but only by European institutions. But that's why we find that um, European institutions are so uh, disappointing uh, on this moment. In fact, they've been backing uh, the Spanish government. Uh, first, uh, let's say on 10 of October, when uh, the Catalan uh, prime minister was about to declare independence, the, Mr. Donald Tusk um, begged him to make a, a gesture of, of goodwill. And uh, Mr. Puigdemont, the, the Catalan Prime Minister, did. He, he, he suspended the declaration of independence. So it would open uh, a possibility of, 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 of talks. But now, um, uh, the, the same Mr. Donald Tusk is just um, saying that uh, Spain is all right to, 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 to follow its uh, repressive mood. I think they're making a big, big mistake. Well, we've had some experts' opinions here, and they're saying that Brussels is staying silent uh, on the Catalan crisis as it fears that secessionist movements across the bloc could also then come into play. I mean, do you think that that's the case? Excuse me, can you repeat the question? 
Yes, definitely. We've, we've been hearing from experts who think that Brussels is staying silent in, in this particular crisis. They're not getting involved across the EU, what they see as a Spanish interior problem. Um, because the EU fears that secessionist movements ac across the bloc will then basically rise up. Do you think that that's the case? Well, um, of course, I'm, I'm, I don't really agree that uh, Europe is not interfering. They are interfering. They are backing up the Spanish government. They are taking uh, uh, um, a choice and they are backing the Spanish government and are not uh, being neutral or, or anything. Uh, but then would this lead to uh, uh, um, several other secessionist processes? Um, well, maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, it is not... Uh, like Mr. Juncker, uh, the, um, uh, the, the president of the European Commission, he claimed that oh, a Europe with 80 or 100 states, small states, would not be um, not be possible to um, to 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 run. But we are not talking uh, in the first place about 80 or 100 uh, states to uh, about to break up. It's uh, a process that may. Uh, be achieved in Catalonia, maybe someday in Scotland or in Flanders or in a few uh, regions there, there is um, a democratic uh, solid um, uh, desire of, of uh, independence, but we are not talking about uh, tens and tens of, 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 of um, new states about to be to raise in, in Europe. And then I would really certainly ask to Mr. Juncker, uh, who is, uh, comes from uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg, a small country with 500,000 people. Uh, the Catalans have 12 times as many people. And in uh, Luxembourg, they also speak some kind of German. Why doesn't he uh, uh, make the move and ask for Germany to integrate Germany? Then there would be already one state less if that's his uh, main problem. Indeed. Well, we'll leave it there. Bernard Elements from the International Commission of European Citizens. I got the title right this time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Mm -hmm.